We got a quick tip today about bypassing windows. Uh, let's just say things that get thrown up in your face and you're trying to interact with the desktop or you want the desktop to bypass like some kind of wizard in windows. You can do this through the setup. Uh, a lot of times through the setup is when you want to use this, but there's other times where this is just nice to have in your back pocket. Let's get on the desktop. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Right here is one of the very first uh, things that I do when I'm in here. Like we're setting up windows on this little VM and I don't want to use a Microsoft account. I want this to just be a test. Now, obviously this VM's connected. I could just rip out the network card or unplug it to bypass this prompt, but there's actually an easier way. If you just hold shift and press F10, this gets us our magical prompt that we can do all kinds of cool stuff with. There's a couple big things here. We can actually just do an IP config release. And what this does is it kills the internet. And that makes it to where we can bypass a lot of these prompts. So right here is the bypass. So you don't have to do the Microsoft. As soon as you release that IP, well, there's no internet connection. So how are you going to sign in with the Microsoft? Microsoft knows this. And now we can just do the basic setup quick way. You just toss in your name. Uh, don't put a password or anything because then you'll have all these stupid questions you have to do. Just say, forget about it. No, you can turn this off if you like. Uh, typically, I use like O and O shut up and things like that. A lot of people asked about key logging in this last one, how Microsoft does it by default. That's actually ink and typing. This diagnostic data gets sent. So it's the actual key logger that's built into Windows by default. Uh, and it's all related along the ink and typing section. But honestly, usually I set this up with uh, Ono oh shut up with like recommended settings when I first get in. It basically disables all that anyways. Other really good use cases for this would be a task manager. If you want to pull up task manager in one of these prompts, you could easily do a uh, task MGR to pull up, you know, you control, uh, control, to, uh, control shift escape to pull up task manager normally would not work at that prompt. And if you do just do task MGR, you can. You can use DISM to repair a complete install and, and directly inject packages. You can use regedit to add registry keys. Let's say you want to install Windows 11 on uh, something that's not TPM uh, or doesn't have a TPM 2.0 chip. You could just do regedit and bypass that if you like. There's a lot of use cases for the Shift F10 hotkey that really uh, kind of make it awesome and uh, use it because when it comes to Windows 11, I got to tell you, there's nothing more powerful than its command line or PowerShell. And even if you're in just command line like this, they're interchangeable. So this is command line. This is just regular CMD. And then you could easily go back to PowerShell with just PowerShell. So using these commands, you can flip around. You have disk. Disk part uh, is another big one. So you can repartition things all from command line. Very useful. Uh, I can't tell you, you get me uh, just a command prompt on any Windows box and you can do anything. You don't need the GUI to do these things and you can bypass any roadblocks that get put in your in your way. But if we look at IP config, you can see we don't have that to get our IP back. Obviously, you could reboot, but we're just going to do an IP config renew and bam, we are back. We have our temporary uh, address. And you can see all the goodness of our command line. Learn it, live it, love it. Uh, and it's one of the things that like people when I'm in Linux go, oh, you're you rely too heavily on on the terminal in Linux. I say I rely too heavily on all CLI because guess what? You can't screw up the command line. Uh, it will do exactly what you tell it to and no way will they lock you out because, well, if you have access to an admin command prompt, you can do whatever you want. So that's the glory of old windows and bypassing a lot of these things. Let me know if this is helpful for you. If it was, drop me a comment down below, hit like on the video, and I'll see you in the next one.